Hi guys, we finally made our first playtest, and here I'll be showing some clips on playtesters testing out a very early demo of the game. So on our first day, uh, I forgot to have my mic active while recording, so I can't really be heard in this video. So I'll just do my best to explain what's going on with the playtest. So right now, the first playtester is Chef Jeff. He's a game developer, and he's currently working on a game called Cult Game. It is a text-based strategy RPG where you start to make your own cult. And all the events and happenings within its history is created procedurally. He posted some links to his game in our Discord server. Alright, let's begin. I can just get started, right? Cool. New game. Oh, this is some cool concept art. Okay. Alright, now I'm, I'm a little wisp right here. Okay. Okay. It looks like I can. The water doesn't stop me. Okay. Uh, no options. Okay. I'll head back. Yeah. Moving around with Wazd. Oh, here's the. Uh, yeah, this is the little guy I can turn myself into. Okay. Oh, that's cool. That's a cool sound effect. I like that. And I can probably pick up a sword, too. Yeah. Oh, I can lift the left hand or right hand? Okay. Well, I'm a lefty. There we go. And then I can put this in my right hand. So I got a shield. I got a sword. Oh, did I drop? Mm -hmm. So here I'm just explaining to him that shields can only be equipped on the left hand. Oh, okay. No worries. Yeah, I'm just... A, I'm a... I'm, yeah, I'm just a lefty in real life, so I just thought that was fun. <laughs> yeah, okay. I'm, I'm like glowing on the inside. That's kind of cool. It's the wisp probably just chilling out in this skeleton. Okay. Oh, is this another friend? Hello, friend. He's looking at me. Can I talk to him? Can I? I don't want to hit the friend. Well, let's see what happens. Oh, no, he doesn't care. <laughs> Okay. Okay, yeah, no worries. It's fun. Alright. Oh, the light's changing. Okay, yeah. Oh, is there's break vessel? Bonk. Alright, is oh I can absorb other wisps. Cool. Magic. Alright. Alright. Um, I can see the little wisp inside. Do I? I probably get brighter the more wisps I get. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, that'd be cool. Oh, there's a dude here. It. Hey, uh, he's probably not a friend. So here I'm giving him some tips on how to use the target lock system with the middle mouse. Middle mouse? Oh. Oh yeah. Okay. Usually I just click the control stick in if I'm playing controller. So thank you. All right. So I probably have. I can left click and I have like a normal attack. Can I. Okay, if I hold, I do multiple. Oh, and he staggers, so I can just wail away. There we go. Oh, wait, no, did I get hurt? Oh, I got hurt there. Huh. Oh, okay. Well, uh, I probably got to run. If he, he can probably, yeah, he can probably hit me as a little wisp guy. Hmm. Oh, that hurt. Okay. Let's see. Maybe I can go talk to that other skeleton. Maybe I can use him to help me out Let's see because i that or maybe i can re-enchant those bones or whatever i was doing earlier okay let me uh hello skeleton friend are you gone oh he's gone oh wait no he's right there can i use you as a weapon now he's just chilling okay that's all right Maybe I can go back up a different way here where there won't be an enemy. Or maybe there's something else. I don't think wisps can climb ladders or open doors. Let's just check. No? Okay. Maybe I gotta go back and just run away from that dude. <laughs> oh, I can, I can pick up the... Okay, interesting. So maybe I can do that and... There's like a little animation, so maybe I hopefully. I, oh, hello! It's another person. 
cast your glow upon me, light weaver. Let the uh, flow of change refine Oh, your okay. So this is the uh, this is the path of exile style skill tree, right? Okay, cool. Well, I probably don't have any points yet, or maybe I do. So I have, there's a lot of different things here. Okay. Maybe I want a skeleton that is a little bit better. Oh, and overhead strike. Okay, so allows the skeleton. Yeah, so you can unlock new moves. Okay, and then it tells me how to do that. Interesting. I have. It looks like I have a lot of resources. I might as well just buy quite a few. Yeah, you can just max out the skeleton. Oh no, it just keeps coming back. There we go. Okay. I'll just max out the skeleton. It looks like this is the skeleton tree. I'll do that. All right. All right. Go forth, Ravis. Cool. May you I'll do it. All right, now let's go find those bones. And it looks like I can't run as the wisp. I can just float. All right. So here I'm trying to explain to him that you can actually upgrade your wisp so that it can move faster. Okay. And some skills okay. that will help the wisp dash around to evade enemies. All right. All right, well, the dude's gone, hopefully, for a while. We'll see. Just pick these. Oh, I can pick them back up again. All right. Maybe it takes me a second, though, yeah. Whee! <laughs> That's funny. All right. Oh, I oh I have to reconjure. Okay. Cool. Okay. I'm I am back together. That's good. Oh, I am stuck moving in one direction. Uh, whenever I press a key, it looks like it's moving me in one in one direction. Yeah, it, want, it wants me to move one way. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Oh well. Like my input, right? Oh yeah. My in my input is oh, okay. <laughs> I'm moving and I'm pressing various keys, but it wants to keep going into this wall right now. So. Hmm. So here we encountered our very first game-breaking bug, where the skeleton oh. locks on to a very specific part of of the game, a very specific oh, direction. Interesting. So at this moment, we're still trying to figure out what's going on or okay. what's causing it to happen. All right, no worries. So we still haven't any idea yet on what's going on with, <laughs> that's with the all right. skeleton. Yeah, that's probably something you've seen before. Yeah. All right, let's let's run it back. All right. Uh, right hand. And then left hand, yeah, okay. Let's go see the lady who can make Scally strong. Okay. Cast your glow upon me, Lightweaver. Let the flow of change refine your power. Right. And what are these ones? Oh, these are like dodge. Is this still skeleton? Because it has a picture of the skeleton. Let's see. All skeleton, okay. Um, well, let's just click all these. I will become mega skeleton. Aha. Go forth, brave wisp. May you light shape the destiny. Okay. Okay, then I absorb it. Cool. Fireworks. Okay, yes. So, hello, dude. Wop, wop. Oh, yeah. I heard the fire. Okay. Oh, the lad is dead. Okay. Uh, oh, I can scroll to... Oh, that's cool. And then I have a little dot is over the thing that I, I'm looking at. Back to formation. The oh. All right. Oh, there's more dudes here. I probably should run. Ah! <laughs> oh, I can hit multiple of them at once. That's cool. But I probably should run. Uh, so here I'm trying to explain to him that stability is a very important resource to keep your skeleton whole and okay. to avoid breaking. Over there! Over there! Two arms, boys! 
for this. Okay. And the stability is the green. Oh, no, it's the blue, I think, right? The green? Okay, yeah, that's like posture, basically, or? So basically, stability is like stamina and posture at the same time. So when you use attacks or do action, it will drain your stability. At the same time, when enemies hit you, it will also drain okay. your stability. But if your stability is zero okay. and enemies hit you, that's the time that uh, you will break. Quit. Can I get this guy's torch? I don't know how use useful... The oh, is that a mace? Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I'll keep the mace. That's cool, yeah. I can bonk people with this. So here I'm telling him that you can actually dual wield weapons oh, really? to deal oh, more damage. But let's try sacrifice that. That, that your seems... defensive abilities with the seems shield. Cool. Uh, equip left hand. Now I can bonk a lot. Oh no, that's a torch. But that's ah, that's that's still threatening. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah. No, you know that seems kind of fun. I want to try that. <laughs> Watch it! Oh yeah, I'm uh I'm running out of that green stuff. Oh yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> That's all right. All right, I probably got to run away from those guys. They uh that purple stuff looks like it hurts. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh. It looks like I have the same bug earlier, but I can control it. I can only move one direction, though. So here we have the same bug again, uh, which will make or force the skeleton to face one direction. Yeah, so I... And we're trying to narrow down what's going on. The pillar? Oh, no, I can't, I can't move towards it. Yeah. So right now we're just testing out some stuff and try to understand where the bug is coming from. Yeah, I, c I can only move one direction right now. I think it's the same bug from earlier, but I didn't. I don't remember. Uh, I don't remember uh, locking on. Oh, oh, uh oh. <laughs> Should I all F four? Spider-Man right now. That's cool. <laughs> Alright, what do you think we should do? <laughs> Whee! <laughs> yeah, I pressed it. I'm pressing it right... Yeah. Oh, wait. Oh. So I'm not... Uh, so this is what... Uh-oh. So, yeah, now I'm unlocked. Oh, no. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, Now I'm locked on. Now I'm unlocked. I'm unlocked, but I'm still sort of... My movement is restricted right now. So here we decided to test what will happen okay, no if the skeleton breaks. And we can... Uh, we reconjure the skeleton back in. Is there is there like a dude up here that I need to see? Downstairs, you said? Oh, okay. Alright. I'll let him beat me up. Alright. I am beaten up. Oh, now I'm down here. Okay. Get the Aether at the ready. He's falling. Let's finish him up. Alright. Well, at least I'm moving now. I, it, le it looks like I have some control over myself. No, that's good. Here? Oh, yeah, there. It's kind of hard to see. Yeah, it's the bone color. Yeah, here we go. There we go. All right. Oh, yeah, I'm still... It looks like I'm still locked on. Yeah, the, the movement doesn't feel... It, Still feels a little restricted. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, no worries. Alt F. Alright, you want to give it one more try? Okay, cool.
So still, the skeleton is restricted, and we decided to exit the game and restart all over. When I... what? Sorry? Uh... I think so, yeah, it happened. It, it did happen after I broke. But I, I don't remember using the targeting. Alright, I'll just... I think I have enough to get all the upgrades that we had last time right now. Cast your glow upon me, Lightweaver. Let the flow of change refine your power. Go forth, brave wrist. Ready to go. May you light shape the destiny Oh. I'm having the same issue, it looks like. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't let me move. That's really weird, even after we restart the game. All right, uh, any ideas? So here the bug happened the third time. And finally, uh, I had a clue on where the bug might came from. So basically the problem is with a system that I made that I just recently made for Cassandra, where the skeleton will be forced to look at Cassandra when you um, try to, to conjure. What, uh, the main menu? It's cool. I, I like it when, when uh, games that sort of look like this, like have sort of like a dungeon feel. Or how do I describe it? Some game menus, I remember like No More Heroes, if you've played that game before, they have uh, the menu screens are like in gameplay. And then like when you click the uh, like the play game button, it's like the view pans to the character and then that you get behind them and the game starts. So it's like it feels it feels like you're already in the game, even in the menu, which is kind of an interesting way that people do it. All right. Now it looks like I'm in control. That's good. Uh, the NPC. Uh, I mean, she looks like a kind of normal NPC to me. Uh, um, opinion straight straight up is that like uh, with the accent and the robe and everything. Well, she doesn't look as meek as like the firekeepers from Dark Souls. The firekeepers kind of look like Christian uh, religious woman, like the nuns, but she looks kind of just like more like open. She's got long hair. Uh, um, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. She, she, she seems, uh, um, not like not like a villager necessarily because it seems like her clothes she's wearing is she's doing something more important than like a villager and you sh and she kind of doesn't look at least the way she's being portrayed is she doesn't look like homely like a villager she looks kind of like a a main character type with the hair so she's she's like a she's a friend of the monsters so. uh hmm let's see well, uh, it feels okay to move um, WASD. Uh, I, yet again, I'm typically used to Souls like with controllers, uh, but I guess um, uh, it feels okay. And it, it doesn't feel like remarkable right now. Um, this feels weird how my head turns like I'm headbanging when I go backwards. It feels weird. Um, uh, shielding, I mean, feels normal. It feels like it starts up pretty quick. Um, attack feels fine. Nothing really remarkable, nothing like too bad. Uh, but I expect some like, you know, normal early jank. Yeah, from games and development like this. Oh, yeah, I died again. <laughs> okay, let's see, I can probably just... Oh, I can, can I pick them up? Oh, I can pick them up while running around, okay. I didn't know that. The purple dots are gonna kill me. No. Okay. Can I now put them back on? Yeah, there we go. There's like a parry that I can do or something like that. Oh. Oh, okay, yeah. No worries. Uh, what I think about it? Um, hmm. 
it feels uh i can understand like capturing um me when i die like i i, I get that feeling uh like or i understand the concept of it i didn't quite understand that's what was happening when they threw the the pink dots at me or the purple dots at me i didn't i, I thought uh that was like a a special like ranged weapon that they were using i'm not sure like it didn't feel i didn't get the feeling of being captured um uh but uh um yeah i mean it's 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 uh, interesting I, I like the the new take on it oh yeah i'm dead again i'm not gonna keep track of that all right well come on bones let's try that again Okay. Oh, I messed up. Uh, all right, let's get the bones. My first reflex when I get broken up is is was initially not to get pick, pick up the bones but it was to just run away <laughs> yeah and then i clicked and i tried to see if i could defend myself as the wisp but that was not an option okay all right all right bones let's try this again all right my head oh there's my head okay <laughs> Back to formation! The shite's coming back! Oh, there it went. Right, now they're gonna try to use the... Uh, with the flask, I need, man! With the Pick them up. Okay. Pick them up. Pick them up! Oh, I'm picking up. Okay, that's good. Is it coming? Bones. Interesting. I like the the use of physics and moving the little character bones and parts around. That's interesting. Feel that that feels kind of magical because uh not something i can do in real life is see floating bones oh yeah with the come on man. Yeah. With the come on oh no all right the bones are not coming to me Cool. Uh, I think I'm dead. Yeah. R.I.P. <laughs> I think it's cool that you slow down when, like, you get a killing blow on an enemy. I think that's always an interesting effect. So I can absorb a death essence. All right. What did what did that do? Cool. One thing that was initially a little bit confusing about that to me is the death essence was green and my mana is blue or something like. that that so like my initial my color coding reading was like oh that must give me stability so yeah we had this suggestion added to the latest build we changed the color of the particles to blue now oh now it's dark this is kind of cool it's coming back over there over there two arms boys defense defense All right, losing I am... men. oh he died that's cool okay oh Keep the structure I see. At the oh, oh. Wow, he got me with that. That torch did a lot. Oh, there's my bones. Hello. <laughs> now that yeah, that is cool. I saw the devlog you did on that. I thought, I thought that was interesting. It just requires a lot of data and a lot of very picky picky conditionings. That's alright, yeah. 
I guess one comment that I have so far is that when I hit someone, I can't tell if I'm hurting them really or not. It's it's the, at least the feedback for me is I I feel like um, I'm hitting them until they just fall over. Uh, it's um, yeah. I, I can't tell how much progress I've made on beating this guy. So I suggested to Jeff to use the target lock on. Oh, yeah. OK. Yeah. But should I lock on or is that is that still bugged? Okay. Oh yeah, now I can see. Yeah, yeah, that that helps out. Okay, cool. Hey, okay, he's dead. That's good. Cool. All right. Okay. Uh, are they almost dead? It looks like it. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, I'm almost dead, so I better. Yep. I tried to see if I could out uh, kill that man, but he killed me first. All right. Cover each other, fucking hell. Oh wow. Okay. They said swear words. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a children's game. So here we talk about how we decided to put mature language to the game, like swear swearing. Uh, just like what the mercenaries are doing, uh, because lore-wise, mercenaries are like prisoners and criminals so it should be natural for them to swear but um we're trying to weigh out if streamers are okay with that yeah i know i totally get it and a lot of these games are like mature rated so it kind of doesn't matter but i'm thinking like it depends on uh if the streamers who they're uh and th this also is like kind of a moral issue too because it's like do streamers stream to young teenagers and are the teenagers watching them play an m-rated game all right, like it's, yeah, it's it's weird. I think Dark Souls gets gets past. I think Dark Souls is like sixteen and up because a lot of like they don't say swears, but it's pretty violent. So, yeah, stuff like that. Peggy sixteen in most European countries, I think. But yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Alright, now, now he's uh, doing the thing to me. Okay. Oh, maybe this one will work over here. Oh no, I picked him up. Well, I guess it looks like I have bones and a skeleton. Alright. <laughs> I'll punch him. Oh, that's not working. Okay. Uh, maybe a torch will help. Yay, we got him. Okay, cool. Well, I am in desperate need of... That's a terrible position to be in right there, gentlemen. Oh, sir. <laughs> oh, uh, that's weird. <laughs> I, I absorbed the death essence. Oh, yeah, I can't move. Sorry. Oh, wait. Uh, wait, now, oh wait, now I'm a, a wisp. So I th what I think I did is while I had the bones following me earlier as a wisp, I conjured another skeleton. So this is another bug that's related to the feature that I added for Cassandra, and it has something to do with the skeleton bone piles. But right now, uh, all these bugs and um, the previous bugs that we encountered that are game-breaking are already fixed. <laughs> That's all right. Is this the, uh, it, do you think they've gone far enough on your demo here or do you want to do anything else? So I explained to Jeff that he's currently at 20% complete in the entire demo. There are a lot of areas that are not yet explored and mini bosses that has not yet been tested. So we decided to end the, the demo and talk about stuff that he likes and uh, some suggestions that he uh, want added to the game. So currently, uh, some of his suggestions, uh, basically all the bugs has been fixed on the next build. My goal is to patch everything so that a new set of playtesters can test a more polished version of the game. Thank you so much, Jeff, for playtesting the game. 
yeah thanks for showing me your game jen i really appreciate it i uh i'm a developer i do follow you on youtube i'm i uh, i develop games as well i'm bucephalus studios on youtube so you might see me commenting on a video every now and then but uh yeah <laughs> i'm excited to see where you're going with this so in the next devlog we'll see the next play tester test the latest version of the game with all these bugs fixed till next time